everybody. I am in a little bit of awe that we are already on day five of this amazing five day event. Tara, this has been such a blast. Thank you. And it's a pleasure to see you. Such a pleasure to see you. And I was thinking, wow, five days. That's that's a lot of time and a lot of flow. And I'm so glad that we were able to show up every day. That's powerful. Absolutely. Oh, and Michelle's here with us. Hi, Michelle. Yay! I'm so grateful. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a TGIF kind of gal? I'm a TGI every day. <laughs> That's the message right there. That's the message. I used to be a TGIF kind of gal, but now yeah. it is like, how could I even Ooh. wish away Monday through Thursday? Because there's such valuable minutes that we get to be in these bodies. I love it. But, and I will say is that Venus is the day of Friday. Friday is Venus day. When we look about the planetary guides, right? As above, so below. And Venus is the day of love and luxury and the senses and art and beauty. And so I, I do feel that on Fridays. So I love Fridays. <laughs> it is fun. It is fun. <laughs> Absolutely. Not for the same reasons it used to be as an escape, but it does have a, a special kind of energy around it for sure. I do feel that, yeah. Mm. And how did you do with your sound uh, assignment yesterday or your sound invitation yesterday? Oh, I love that. Yeah, I what for me, what came up was not so much the words, but it really was the sound. And I found myself really feeling into what my body wanted to create. And so really feeling it down to from the tip of my tail up to the top of my head and really like, ah. mm. wow. And feeling what a cleansing release and so powerful. That's beautiful. I love that. Mm -hmm. And Ylang Ylang was there to help amplify the process. Thank goodness. And it smelled so sweet. So sweet. How was it for you, Gwen? It was really good. I really leaned into bringing that mirror exercise back into it as well. And I was feeling the eruption of song as well. There was such a joyful like and we just had a little party with ourselves and i loved it i'm a hoot <laughs> to be around <laughs> yes you are i love it <laughs> so i had a like a sound of music moment and it was very very fun <laughs> Oh, how fun i mean and isn't that like the best gift that we can give ourselves that we know right I'm a hoot to be around, right? <laughs> Great up, Buttercup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I, I, I fancy myself a fun entrepreneur. So I enjoy having, a, mm. like, it just, I can't help it. I'm cracking myself up all the time. So I invite others to come along for the ride. <laughs> Me too. I love it. More laughter, please. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> so good so today we turn it up just a notch and we are sliding into day five with a hum paying homage to the sense of where are we bringing it girl case Mm. Mm, that luscious tongue ah, ah. <laughs> it's so good when people come into my restaurants and place an order and it looks like just like it's just going through the brain through the motions i'm like is that what's going to excite every taste bud in your mouth in the next half hour are you gonna do yourself justice with that they're like oh, this is the most exciting menu i've ever had in my life hold on let me check again <laughs> oh my goodness exciting I can't wait to eat there. 
<laughs> it's so true. I mean, like the 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 fact that we are hardwired with so many sensory perceptors to be able to take in all of the depths of flavor, it just makes it so sexy. Mm, yum. Just <laughs> yum. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much fun. And then the oil that we mm. curated into our sensual toolbox in mm. order to honor taste and to bring ourselves further into our journey with intimacy is <sighs> Yum. cinnamon. So we're yes. picking it up. <laughs> And we're using it's our uh, the doTERRA oil is cinnamon bark specifically, and Tara's meeting it for the first time. Wow, what spice! Like, whoa, we turned up the heat exponentially. <laughs> so, this is 50 to 70 times stronger than just dried ground cinnamon. So, the potency wow. is fabulous, but there's a heat to this as well. Yeah. So I always make sure people are mindful to have another, have a carrier oil handy um, because a carrier yeah. oil can help cut down the intensity. So if it burns or stings, uh, trying it on the wrist is, a, is always a good place to put out the fire. If you do have a sensitivity, coconut oil, olive oil, almond, you're using a jojoba oil. I am. And wow, now the scent has really diffused all over my hands and it smells amazing. It's incredible. And this one does have the supplement fact label on it. So since taste is where we're honoring, I am taking a little mm. bit in. Oh my goodness. It is so good. It's like cinnamon fireball candy kind of heat, but Wow. Mm. Oh, so intimately, this one <laughs> can be really diluted down and it can create some nice warming sensations as you are mm. using this um, in personal, you know, with coconut oil as a great uh, massage um, on the genitals and just really wow. diluted down. Test your wrist first. And so I know that there are lubes you can buy that are warming. This can create yeah. that, that fabulous, fun, playfulness. And the reason we chose cinnamon was not only that you can create that little bit of kink in with intimacy, <laughs> but it is the oil of sexual harmony. Yeah. And it supports sexual issues and the reproductive system and it assists individuals in accepting their body and embracing their physical attractiveness, mm. which mm. is so amazing. Uh, that's a powerful energy. So bergamot was more the valuing yourself, self-worth, self-love. And this one is paying homage to the actual vessel that we get to live this life in. And it is something that is near and dear to my heart because I spent a lot of years borrowing a perverse version of what an attractive body looked like based on you know media and body shaming and and peer pressure and all of those kinds of pieces of information that landed as you know that's what's sexy and a body with this kind of curves is not so I, I shook hands with that bs and I mm. love the fact that as I've shed the things that were not my truth, uh, realizing that we are born with a body that is an actual vehicle to bring our specific energy that is our life purpose. The life, we were given a life purpose as a soul and it's not so much to do with what's on your resume, but it is something very specific, that soul purpose. There's an energy 
that you're gifted to be able to deliver that. And your body houses that energy. And I realize that as a charismatic leader with a team player energy profiles, I was not made to have a slight frame that was uh, it, with an invisibility cloak. <laughs> I was made with the perfect energy that I am at home in front of 50,000 people on a stage and sharing my mission and my journey and my story with them. And I couldn't do a different body and do the work that I was born to do this lifetime. So now I look at this vessel and I'm like, mm, girl, thank goodness. <laughs> because I can't do someone else's life work for them, which mm -hmm. would put me in their body and it's not gonna work. So it really has given so much grace. And as I coach women to be able to look through a different lens at how amazing what they were given is and why they got what they got. And it's just, mm, 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 mm. So cinnamon can really help to support that knowing that you have just the right meat suit for you to live your best life. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> Amen. Uh -huh. oh. and so it is. <laughs> <laughs> And Michelle said, Amen. And her Amen. Well, so she's, she's, she's picking up what I'm putting down today. <laughs> I love it. Good. Woo. Thank you for putting it down and being so honest and showing up so authentically. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's, and I feel like we are gifted all of that stuff to be able as we like clear it and go into our truth that we can then look back over our shoulder and go oh sister friend <laughs> and pave a path and resonate with the people who are needing to be reminded that they they're in the perfect space in the perfect place and wearing the right body and all of the things so and yeah. all of that yeah <laughs> i Woo, I love that. And in my work, I really do see that body image and how we conceptualize our sense of self is the number one inhibitor to sexual pleasure. It's like when we don't feel good about ourselves, when we don't feel sexy, when we can't claim that for ourselves, then we can't connect intimately, sexually, sensually with another because we don't live in that within ourselves. So by and large, hands down, that is potent work and you sharing that so clearly like you're claiming your meat suit like yes <laughs> yes because you are such a vibrant exquisite being and we need you sister right all of you you got a lot of channel i get a lot of energy to channel <laughs> all right i'm gonna give you 10 minutes to cut that out ah yes i love it <laughs> just 10 minutes <laughs> I, at least I could do it 20. <laughs> oh, received with gratitude, sister, and reciprocated. It is such a privilege to be able to shine a spotlight and get some clarity and help remind women in particular, men too, but I think yeah. women more so try and mold themselves into an image cast by by something that might not be for their highest good. Yeah, uh -huh. by someone else, by something else. And when it's not cast by ourselves, we're giving away our agency. And that is by far one of the most powerful uh, experiences that we can claim for ourselves is that we need to activate our own agency. Mm. Mm -hmm. so now I have put that cinnamon on the jojoba oil and spread around it with just two drops and feeling really the heat rise up, like woo, up through my neck and feeling like, wow, that was a lot of heat. And I feel it on my hands and like, whoa, it's very stimulating. Yes, yeah, it's getting that blood flowing and really exciting 
the body, the oils that have more heat are more immune supporting as well, um, which is a really cool thing. It's one of the ingredients in one of our massive immune support oils. And it's incredible Mm. putting it, putting it here because it's in the bloodstream and in the cells. So it goes into where, you know, the body needs support so beautifully. So that's, yeah, it's a powerful thing. Well, I feel it. I feel it deeply. It's like, and between the taste of it and the stimulation on my throat, I feel like I'm being coated in cinnamon (laughs) on the inside (laughs) and the outside. (laughs) Well, I can tell you, you smell luscious already. Mm, Thank you. (laughs) So good. So good. Mm, I love it. And so as we are encouraging the exploration of taste today, and we are awakening the spice of life, um, Mm. there was a meditation that we wanted to invite for pleasure. Yeah. 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 And this one goes way back. You know, my, uh, my children are older now, but when they were younger, uh, the oldest went through a rite of passage and she was learning meditation. And this was the meditation that they taught. And I just thought it was so brilliant. And I don't have an M&M, but what they did was they took an M&M and they placed it on the tongue of the right of passenger, right? And my daughter received it. And then she was able to sit with the flavor of the M&M as it slowly melted on her tongue. As it mixed with the saliva in her mouth, she could begin to feel really that chocolate flavor escape and touch her taste buds and allow it to melt into her mouth. And I think that that's such a beautiful experience is to allow the tongue to receive the flavor instead of working towards it, kind of masticating and reaching it, but just allowing it to melt onto the tongue and notice where the M&M lives. Is it on the tip of the tongue? Is it on the back? Where do you feel the most flavorful experience? And that that curiosity is this beautiful experience to cultivate as you meditate on the flavor of this amazing M&M. And if you want to go for advanced (laughs) studies, you can actually try it with the cinnamon. Um, Mm -hmm. That just placing a drop, like a tiny drop on your finger and then putting it on your tongue and again, feeling where on your tongue that you feel the sensation of taste the most and noticing because there's no right or wrong there's just the exploration and allowing yourself the playfulness and the curiosity to feel into where does that taste live and how am i experiencing it and where do i feel it the most Mm -hmm. Uh, what a gift so that is the taste meditation that originated from this m M&M meditation. <laughs> I love that. And I can see where that level of mindfulness in all mm-hmm. of your meal consumption can really mm-hmm. heighten the pleasure of that experience. If we're busy mm-hmm. scrolling or doing other things while we're enjoying a meal, how much of it are we missing yeah. where we can really connect with all of the depth and textures and flavors and uh, so much pleasure mm-hmm. in that experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so much pleasure and that's what we're aiming for is more pleasure and how we can be more expansive and receptive to more pleasure because pleasure is our birthright absolutely True thing. <laughs> absolutely absolutely and it just primes your energy to receive greater health greater joy Mm -hmm. and to fill Mm -hmm. your cup so that your entire human experience becomes a richer one. Yes. And your senses are free. Those are something you get to have a retreat with on a daily basis. And we forget. I know. Yes. So this has been a beautiful reminder this week 
of diving deeper into the senses and how you can do it very simply within the scope of your day, even if it feels like it's jam packed. It's like there are these opportunities for these moments, like coming to this Facebook Live, like the exercises and activities that we invited, invited you to join in on, and like connecting with all of these amazing oils that we introduced you to this week. And there's more. <laughs> Absolutely. Gwen, would you like to share with our audience about what more is about? <laughs> Absolutely. So I, I put the link in the post above and we are offering a master class again on Sunday. So Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern at 10 a.m. Pacific. Uh, is that right? 10, 11, 12, right. yes. Yeah. And <laughs> Yay. <laughs> the yeah. time warp. Um, yeah. <laughs> and it's a complimentary masterclass that we would love for you to come and enjoy a little bit more of the genius work that Tara and I are co creating. If you are not available at those particular time frames, registering will access the uh, recording. So we would be honored if uh, we would get a chance to have FaceTime with you and see you in the Zoom as well. That would be such a blessing. Yeah, love to see all of you there. Love to interact with all of you, hear your questions, how you're playing with these oils, what you discovered through the activities. We invite all of that conversation. And if you know that you wanna dive deeper into these oils for a longer period, we'd really love to invite you to our self-love retreat on Sunday, February 13th, where we'll be hosting a deeper exploration of this specially curated collection of oils and experiences. Absolutely. And that retreat comes with your own sensual toolbox of these oils. So you will be able to have access to them in, in your own home and really deepen your practice of self-care and intimacy. And we're so excited to help facilitate that. Yeah. Yes. And the masterclass has a special bonus gift for you. So if you're thinking about the full day retreat, join us for the masterclass. We've got a special bonus there for you and then sign up for the full day retreat. It will be a blast. And what we're offering also is this lifetime access to all the content in, the, in a digital course format. So I think that's really exciting. It is our first digital course together. And I see that it probably won't be our last, that there's much more collaboration out there for the two of us, but it will be our first endeavor. And we wanna make sure that you have access to that for the lifetime that it exists, that you exist, that it is available. <laughs> I love it, I love it. This is so much fun. And, and Tara, thank you so much. This has been a beautiful five day journey for myself as well. And uh, it's such a great thing to be able to look midday and go, oh, it's my Tara time. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Gwen. Yeah, it's been such a pleasure. And what I love best is this, this effortless flow of exuberance. And this just is this lovely exchange between the two of us. It's, it's been so amazing. Just mwah, what a gift. <laughs> Likewise, I'm so glad your parents made you. The world's a better place because of it. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. They love that. <laughs> And thank you all for being here with us as part of our beloved community. We are so grateful to be on this journey with all of you because I think right now, all we need is love. <laughs> I love it. Mm, absolutely. Mm. Thank you so much, my friends. Have a beautiful, yeah. beautiful day. We'd love to hear your feedback on taste. We'll come back and see those comments. Um, and we're just so grateful. Yeah. See you soon. Take care. See you Sunday. Bye.